In 2011, Kenya Airways launched Project Mawingu, which was a 10-year plan aimed at positioning Nairobi as a hub in East Africa for international flights. However, Project Mawingu ran into turbulence after Kenya Airways failed to get licenses for the new routes that it had purchased aircrafts for. This has partly been blamed for the losses the airline has been posting in recent years. The Senate Select Committee probing KQ has been keen to interrogate vital documents for Project Mawingu to establish if indeed it was to blame for the current sorry financial state of affairs of the airline. However, the airline's management did not have the minutes of the meetings held to discuss Project Mawingu. They were supposed to send the minutes to us on Friday so that the committee could be able to look at them over the weekend and yesterday so that when we meet them today, we have uh, something to discuss. Unfortunately, they misunderstood our instruction, whether inadvertently or deliberately, and only sent extracts of the minutes. Now, that of course is not proper procedure. Kenya Airways Managing Director Mbuvi Ngunze's claim that they could not produce the minutes since they were bulky angered senators of the Professor Anyang Nyongo Committee. Since we are inquiring into Kenya Airways, we cannot give them the privilege of selecting what, what they bring to us. They, we told them quite clearly that we can't hold discussions on the minutes. They're not even signed, they are extracts. But we can hold meeting discussion on the management letters. The Senate committee gave Kenya Airways management until Monday next week to furbish them with the minutes of the Project Mawingu meetings. Melin Miendo for Business Insight.